Hey guys, welcome back to Dial H. We're going to be talking about the starter set. Basically, the review we're doing today is whether or not you should buy this starter set. What all does it give you to help you start playing the game of Heroclix? So, for Beyond Amazing here, we already have it all displayed out. We'll go over the Dyson Token Pack really quickly. So, the starter set and Dyson Token Pack have the exact same dice. There's no difference there like how we've seen in the past. So, that's not really a make or break. And then in the token pack, as you can see, it has several of the main set tokens for Mysterio, for Spider-Man Noir, and then for Penny Parker. So that'd be a rare Mysterios, super rare Spider-Man Noir, and then super rare Spy at SP slash slash DR for Penny. So that's what the dice token pack gets you. They both run the same scheme of red and blue Spider-Man right. kind of colors. But um, yeah, yeah. Artwork is, I mean... Hit or miss, it, it's neat. it just it's depends little, on what you like. It's a little cartoonier, I would say. Yeah. Less uh, realism, a little more cartoony. It reminds me of the Spider-Man, like, Disney XD cartoon. Yes. The, like, yeah, the Ultimate Spider-Man or whatever that was called. That's the vibe it's giving me anyways. So, to me, the highlight of this is all of the special terrain markers. Yeah. Simeon, do you have a special terrain? Yeah. A uh, favorite special terrain? I mean, obviously, for me, it was one of the ones that was first previewed. It's the shipping container that yeah. doubles as elevated. Not only is it one of the largest that we've seen, it's also one that uh, I quickly managed to like 3D print so I can have a, uh, a stand in if I want. Because I think putting like physical elevated terrain is pretty cool on the map. And also, I mean, it's dealing the same damage that like a heavy object would, plus it gives you a giant reach of three or a range of four if you don't have any range. Uh, it takes four damage to destroy, so it's not yeah. easily destroyed either. Um, I think that one's just kind of neat, and it's like something I can see. I can see the Hulk or like even Spider Man right. picking it picking up, up and smashing big shipping somebody. container. Yeah. yeah. I'm a big fan of the anchor just for the flavor of it. If you have a Namor yeah. or an Aquaman figure and you want to have them pick up the anchor and smash that over somebody's head, that's just really cool. So for a thematic team, this is probably my favorite. And I didn't know this was coming in this pack either, so I was really surprised that this was really cool. So should give you like exploit when you use it because it's got those big hooks yeah, cool. on it. Yeah, hooks, man. So I think even alone, just for because this is the only way you can officially play these terrain markers and like tournaments and everything, is by having the actual printed like WizKids ones. They're pretty cool. On the back, I believe they're all debris. Yes, they're yeah. all debris on the back, so there's no no difference there. I could have thought it'd be kind of neat if on the back this was like an elevated terrain, you know, sure. instead of just being blocking. Double or your, this like, was options. blocking. Yeah, like this was blocking instead of just elevated. I think that would have been kind of cool. But I think for the first run at making special terrain, this is pretty solid. It gets a lot of special terrain markers. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get nine special terrain markers just right away from buying this. So that's really cool. After special terrain, I, I will mention these. The debris markers, the barrier markers, the smoke, the special, the water that you get in this set. Uh, last time we got them, they were all round, I believe. That's in right, like yeah. the Ten of Swords set, they were all round. So these are back to square, which is better, because obviously the squares are square. The figures Max, are round. Yeah. So that way when a figure is over it, you can tell what it is. What's under yeah. them, you know? So that's really cool. So I like that they're back to being square. So that's a huge bonus in my opinion. So it makes me more likely to buy this over going like the Ten of Swords the Disney Plus, because those are a little outdated, but I really just like that these are square, so that's really awesome. Speaking of just like staying up to date, you do get two PACs. I like that these are built for two people yeah. to play. Like so the game. absolutely uh, everything. One for me and two. one for Simi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's not only two PACs, but all the scenario cards that come mm. with it yeah. um, have a two player scenario. You could obviously play with one, but it's yeah. more geared towards two. And they included a loot dynamic that actually makes like ongoing scenario play more yeah. interesting, which is cool. Um, that's something that like I've never personally done because I just prefer playing hero clicks the way I always play hero clicks. But uh, you know, as far as starting it out and getting a good grasp, it definitely like eases you into it with yeah. starting with the the characters that aren't as crazy, right? The, the simple version of the dials, right? Yeah. The just the just standard power version of the dials. Yeah, and then you could boost them as you go. But yeah, and then you uh, obviously get the uh, good old current rule book. The current rule book, which also has a PAC on the back as well, which is yeah. kind of neat. Yeah, so. they print a PAC on the last couple pages. Same with I believe the comprehensive also did that. Oh, did um, it? And if okay. you're looking at getting a starter and you're ready to jump into the comprehensive rules, you can obviously 
go to the WizKids rule site and download that PDF. It's like 70 pages. It is a lot. I do like it in PDF form though, because you can search certain oh. keywords that you're looking Type for. Page. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's why I like that one online. I don't think we necessarily need a 70 page one, but this will get you started at least. I wouldn't least. mind having a physical copy of the 70 page one, but I think that for this, just getting started, learning the basics, movement, attacking, what all the symbols do, I think that's good for a new player, Definitely. for the basics for hero flicks. So the map is another big thing, the map tiles. We are getting two less map tiles with this since the map change is going to be a little bit smaller. However, it is just reprints of both Play at Home kits. So both Play at Home kits have the flip sides of these maps, but neither of them are on the same flip side. So I believe one Play at Home kit has a different map and then like right. the Sandman construction area. Then the other Play at Home kit has a different map than like Oscorp Tower or like the uh, Daily Bugle, Daily Bugle. like room. Yeah. So this is the only way to get those two maps specifically on the flip side of each other. So if you want to carry less around during a tournament, if you want to use those two specific maps, you can guess, I guess, have those, right. even though they're, I guess, heavier, but it's kind of cool. That's just one way to make them slightly different. So you didn't have to just buy one play at home kit to totally negate these maps. But that's kind of what you get. You also, oh yeah, I can't forget these bystanders. This is the only way to get the official Ockarm bystanders yeah, for this case, if, if you're not making your own or doing anything like that. So the only way to get the official Akarn bystanders for the Super Dr. Octopus is here. And then one of my favorite things is Thug from Superior Foes of Spider-Man returns reprinted, yeah. as the henchman in these, which is really cool. And he gets sidestepped this time. And like a better defense and yeah. I think attack probably too. I think he had a nine it's attack. A shorter range. But shorter range, yeah, yeah, three. But it's cool to see Thug back. I'm a big fan of Thug when they originally made him. So it's just cool seeing that sculpt back, even though he's a henchman this time. Yeah. And then the, I mean, so henchmen and then this Dr. Octopus bystander, they're not legal for tournament play. They don't have, um, what's it called? A set number. Like, yeah, but set number these arms are yeah. just the exact same that Dr. Octopus makes, which is really cool. But this Dr. Octopus is also just neat that it's a bystander for home games or, of course, for the scenario. So these bystanders are pretty cool. But if you do want a complete set of main set bystanders, you will have to buy the Dyson Token Pack and this for WizKids official Dr. Octopus Ock arm bystanders. All right, do you wanna talk about your favorite figure out of the list? I think, yeah. don't forget to overlook, like don't over, don't forget to overlook, don't overlook yeah. the simple version of the dials. Even Spider-Man is an 11 for three hypersonic 50-50 super senses for 30 points, which is really good. Pretty but, solid. Well, what, who do you wanna talk about for uh, dials? I think first, I'm just gonna say like, oh sure, we both agree that Mysterio has like one of the oh, best sculpts yeah. in the starter. Uh, it's a huge effect. You can see his little face behind the bubble mask. Um, very cool, very large Mysterio when compared to the old like Superior Foes of Spider-Man one. But the standout figure for me in this set, and this is like something I might build with when I'm looking at the keywords that it has, is it's uh, Spiderling, who has Shield, Spider-Man, Family, and Cosmic keywords. So she does one thing on her bigger dial. This is the 105B, the 40-point okay. dial the more complicated one. She has a damage power that is probability control, and then at the beginning of the game, you turn a, design, a die to any result and place it on the card, and then once per game, you may remove that die from the card and replace a die in an attack roll with it mm. after all rerolls. So it's dice replacement. We've seen this before, but yeah. it's specifically a die that you get to choose, which is crazy because like a lot of characters, like I've paid 75 points for Doom that has this effect. Right, but and it's then random. I, I roll a bad die and then I'm stuck with it. Um, so it's, you know, I look at my opponent's team, I'm like, oh, they're gonna try and hit me first. I'm gonna pick one. That is I'm really gonna, cool. I'm gonna lock in like a miss for him essentially. Yeah. And that's on top of prob. She only gets to do it once, but she does have just prob the rest of her dial. Um, it is well, nice. For most of her dial, yeah. she gets, I guess, two clicks of support, which, as we've seen, support very good. Pretty good. Has has gone kind of crazy. So my pick is, I really like this Venom, and even though it's only a common sculpt in the main set and kind of in this one, it's huge, and I think Venom should be a really big, like, imposing figure. Uh, Venom's not like a crazy complicated dial, I just think this is a really unique take on him with the starting plasticity, impervious, shape change, and poison. Feels very Venom-y to me. And then he has steel energy the rest of his dial, and he gets some late dial charge and battle fury. Like he's really hungry for brains and stuff. So <laughs> it's really cool. He gets a special defense power, which is like toughness, super senses. And then when he uses it during a close attack, 
you can, and he succeeds. You can deal the attacker one damage, or you can heal him one click. He's taking a little bite or a swipe out of somebody. So I really like this Venom. It's really, it's really unique. It's really different versus just making him like a charge piece right away. It, it does feel like his like alien goo, his alien symbiote is like latching on to people, plasticity, and all these, yeah. yeah, poisoning them. So it's a Venom with a different goal in mind, which is really cool. So I really like this take on Venom. I'm not going to get into any other dials, but I do think the special versions of Hydro Man and Bullseye are also really cool, where Bullseye yeah. can throw terrain, and then he can still divide the damage amongst people, which is really neat. Right. So I think there's some really cool uses in this starter set. But overall, what do you think of the starter set, Simeon? We got the new terrain, we have the updated PACs, we have the return to square, you know, blocking terrain markers, hindering terrain markers. We have some great figures, and we have the only way to get WizKids official Ock Arms, as well as right. the map and everything. I think this is a pretty solid starter to buy. If you want a physical version of the Beyond Amazing, if you don't want to look at the online version of the PAC, but it is still free online. But I think the, the biggest draw to me is these special terrain markers. I think they're really, really cool. And I think that's, whether you're casual, competitive, whatever, I think that's what you're probably looking at the most, yeah. is this new game element that is coming and it's free for every team. Like your, whatever terrain you're putting is gonna be like free. It's, you get three no matter right. what. And so you might as well have all the options you can. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the number one, I think. Uh, the number two is definitely having two PACs. So I have one for me, I have one for my buddy that I'm gonna teach or you know whoever, uh, just having a backup in case, that's probably the second best thing. And I do yeah. really like a physical PAC. Um, it sucks looking at my phone, trying to like scroll down oh, and sure. let it load. Yeah. So obviously having one of these in like my clicks box is just super easy. That's what I normally do anyhow. I actually printed some of these out. Oh, that's right, yeah, you did. But they were full tiny, wrong, full tiny. So, they, so I, yeah, these are much appreciated. And then, yeah, if you don't already have, like, barrier tokens and stuff like that, that's something that's constantly coming up with figures, and so you need that. Um, and then, obviously, if you're not buying heavily into the set, this gives you a great selection yeah. of, like, villains and, uh, you know, heroes. Good guys, yeah. heroes, yeah. So, I think it's a pretty solid starter. I like, think so, too. Yeah. Well, we pieced it out, guys. We've kind of laid out everything before you. We kind of gave our, gave our two cents on it. So let us know in the comment section below, are you going to be buying this starter set? What do you think of the Beyond Amazing starter? Like, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned for the latest Style H videos. And like always, happy trails.